Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to keep stocking and stitch from curling. This is a very popular question on my blog. I know that there are lots of methods how to do it, but I like this one. Maybe later I will show you two more that I know, but this one is for me is the best one so far and it looks like it's real stocking at stitch without any extra pearl rolls that you may add and of course after using this method and blocking for example your hat it will look really cute without any curls so First of all, we start with stocking it stitch. Here I am on the wrong side, so slip the first stitch and purl all other stitches till the end. So I'm just going to need first three rows stocking it stitch. It means we purl on the purl side, on the wrong side and knit on the right side. And throw the last salvage stitch. Turn. Row number two, slip the first stitch and knit all other stitches till the last one till the salvage. Roll the last salvage stitch and row number three, same as row number one, slip the first stitch and roll all other stitches. Great. And in this row we will make something that will keep fabric from curling. So if you look on the wrong side here, you will see a pearl stitch. It's our knit stitch on the right side. And you need to find the second stitch underneath the second bump here, ridge, the second ridge. So here is the last row and here is the previous one. We will work with these ridges, the second ridge. So again, here is the pearl stitch and here is the second ridge underneath. I don't know, if you are a beginner, you may place stitch markers in each. So let's get started. Slip the first stitch. Now, Slip next stitch knitwise, knitwise, find the second, here's the first one, here's the second ridge, and place it on the left hand needle in this way. Now knit it as normal knit stitch and pass slip stitch over this knitted stitch. And that's what we get. Let's repeat again. Slip next stitch knitwise. Find the second ridge. So one and two. Here it is. Place it on the left hand needle. Knit it. And pass slip stitch over the Needed. And let's repeat. Slip the next stitch knitwise, find the second ridge, 
knead it and pass over. Slip knit wise. You may place it and knit it right away and pass over. So that's what we have, almost invisible. If you look at your edge after, you will not see difference, but if you touch it, you may feel that the edge a little bit thicker than the other fabric so easy slip knit wise knit one pass over slip knit wise knit one pass over let's imagine that all your stitches are twisted for example like this so how do you work in this way so you slip it purl wise so not knit wise pick up reach and place it in the same way like the stitch so you see here and return stitch back and knit both stitches through the back loop and you will get absolutely the same result so you need this first stitch the stitch that you slip usually to be on top of their ridge so let's do it again slip bring the ridge in this way already so return stitch and knit two together through the back loop in my case i slip knit wise so i turn already my stitch pick up ridge and knit knitted and pass over and the last one knit one pass over and pull the last salvage stitch that's it look at this edge when you wash it and block it trust me you will not see the difference but as i said when you touch it it's a little bit thicker here it is thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and please leave me a comment if you find this tutorial useful and or you were using it before thank you again and bye for now